Yes, hello team. This is Abhishek here again from the Study Metro Bangalore. And today we have the Kulsum. Um, she is going to talk about uh, the German education system, where what are the options are available, uh, especially for the mechanical engineers and electrical engineers. Because German is a place where uh, most of the students they go, uh, especially uh, for the engineering background students. Because if, if you name it any kind of mechanical industry, uh, it's, it comes from the German, let's say from the uh, your all kind of cars like from the Nissan to uh, to Toyota and to other companies. So all are from the uh, Germany. And um, the good point is that because when I was talking to some uh, German trainers, they mentioned me. Uh, that German, uh, they hired so many uh, Asian uh, people because they don't feel comfortable with the German language uh, or the English language. So they teach them the German and uh, they do their day-to-day -day activities uh, with the Asian people because they are very cheap compared to the other uh, kind of cities. So Germany is a very good place for the students in all the ways and uh, Kulsum is going to talk about today what are the options that are available for the Indian students if they are going ahead with the German uh, uh, studies. So Kulsum, uh, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. So please start your presentation and if anybody have any questions, they feel free to write down in the chat box window. Thank you very much. Thanks, Abhishek, sir. So, hello, everyone. Hope all are doing good. My name is Kulsum, and I'm from Bangalore as a senior education counselor. Today, I'm here to give a small presentation on German education. So, let's begin. If you talk, if you tell me to describe Germany in one line, I would tell you great opportunities, get many opportunities. So we get so many opportunities for an international students in Germany with various aspects. So let's begin what all is there, what it is all about and various things. Here you can see the German flag. It's about three colors, black, red and yellow. Black describes determination, red, bravery and strength. Yellow is about generosity. Here's the geographical location of Germany. Again, it's the heart of Europe. As you can see, it, they have neighboring countries, Netherlands, Belgium, France, Czech Republic, Austria, Poland, and Berlin is the, uh, is the capital city of Germany. What are the facts about Germany? Here I have shortlisted some of the few facts about Germany. It's the largest member of the European Union a most popular tourist destination. We have so many attractive tourist places here. It's the fourth largest economy in the world after US, UK and Australia. And consistently it has ranked um, almost for the five years is a world export champion and it's soccer world champions in 2014. And has a population of, according to 2015 estimated figure, it has a population of 82 lakhs 175,700 and its area about 357,168 kilometers square. So when we talk about the time difference, language spoken, currency used, here the time difference from India to Germany is India is 4 hours and 30 minutes ahead of Germany. The language spoken here is the German, even though English is also spoken over here, but official language is German. Currency used is again as the other European countries, it is euros. As when we are comparing it to the Indian rupees, one euro stands for 73 INR. So, as you all know about the Germany with for its innovation, so what makes Germany so popular? The first and foremost thing I would like to discuss here about the innovation, as we know about the cars. When it comes to innovation, first thing comes into our mind is about the cars. As you can see, the most popular cars, Mercedes, Benz, BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, all those most popular cars are produced from Germany and most top brands for the sportswear, sportswear for Puma and Adidas. And the most popular software industries, software companies all over the world, Bosch, Siemens, SAP, 
which you all know most of the popular software industries all over the world. Next, as I told you, it's the most attractive tourist place. As I have given a five pictures which is most adorable. Let's talk about the first picture which is it's a Drugan Island which is located in the Battle Sea. As you can see a very good picture. It is the largest island in Germany with its resorts, beaches, romantic seaside and charming villas. And second, it's a Neuschwarzen. It's most photographed building in Germany nestled among the breathtaking beauty of the Bavarian Alps. It's, uh, it's a inspiration behind Disney Sleeping Beauty. Uh, most of the people know about this. It's a castle. Munich. The third picture is Munich, which is the one of the best places to visit in Germany. Why is the best place? Because of its a great culture sense and it's a really famous for its Oktoberfest. It's a, like, it's a very popular festival, I could tell you here. It's, more, it's really popular and it's mostly widely celebrated in Munich with like beers and kind of a stuff. And it has a classic and modern architecture. You can just see the picture. It's really classy and modern. The fourth picture, it's Berlin. As I told you, later, Berlin is the capital city of Germany. And it's really famous for its historic structures. And fifth picture is Kolaren, which is a very popular place to visit. It's an array of attraction, bustling nightlife, and it has a stellar arts and culture. And it is also famous for its historical and magnificent churches. So now, then, which is ne next, it's popular for its food and beverages, as most cuisine is the most popular thing in the Germany, and it has evolved as a national cuisine. German cuisine has a, always its number one because of its variety. Food industries plays an important role in the development of. Uh, German economy. German bread rolls and beers are world famous. Like we have here a hot food strings, bread rolls, desert hot food, and this you can like non vegetarian and vegetarian, which meat and so on. Here is the track record of success of German. There are more than 100 Nobel Prize winners. In recent years, these are the few people who has got the Nobel winners, they are Nobel Prize winners, like for the chemistry, medicine, literature, and physics. So, well, when we talk about international students, why do they go for, why do the students choose to study in Germany? It's a very big question. And second thing, almost 4.5 million international students go worldwide, and that. You can see here in the graph that in Germany stands about 6%. When we talk about 6%, in German overall population, 12% of population, all students German in Germany are international. According to 2015 survey, it's like 3 lakh 20 thousand students study in Germany, all the international students, and it's a really a big number. When we talk about like 3 lakh 20 thousand students, the big question is why do they prefer to go for Germany? What makes them most attractive place or what made them so intend to study in Germany? What are the reasons to study? So many students intend to study in Germany. Let's see about it. Here are the top reasons why do they study to, in Germany. First and foremost reason is top class degree recognized around the world. German higher education is one of the best in the world, whether it's cars or education. People everywhere recognize made in Germany as a seal of quality. You can benefit from Germany's long famous university tradition, especially in the fields of engineering and science. As Abhishek sir told in this initial start, he said that Germany is really popular for its engineering programs and science. Yes, it's a really recognized degree if this person is studying in top class. I, it is recognized around the world. And the second thing is diverse range of study opportunities. German higher education system has something for everyone. 
Now, what comes a diverse range of study opportunities? There are almost 450 state accredited universities with some around 17,500 degree programs. So when I'm talking about 17,500 degree programs, most of the popular courses are found in Germany. So that is why it is called it as diverse range of study. Whatever the course the student prefer to go, whether it's engineering, science, technology, arts, law, whichever the program is, they have all sort of programs available. The third reason is most is like study in English. A most student, and not an every international student knows the particular language, especially when we are talking about Europe. Germany is not so easy to learn, but still, the education system in you, you, in Germany, they are teaching in English. More and more courses and degree programs are being offered in English. In English, especially, I could tell you at the master's degree level. This is a good news if you don't know any German or if you ever known like Germany isn't a good language to study or good enough yet still the student can go ahead and study in English because the mode of instruction is in English and the fourth thing is friendly environment like most the student any international students they prefer to go for any country because especially they think okay what's the education system what's the course available whether it's taught in English or not and food they come like okay what's the environment what kind of an environment it is. Mostly in Germany, it's like completely friendly environment. It's a home to everybody, I could tell you, whether people want to study, leave over there. They have really a great friendly environment. And for fifth thing is low tuition fees or nominal tuition fees. Most of the public universities offer 100% tuition fees with nominal administration fees, which makes international student uh, attractive thing. Okay, there's a less tuition fees. Affordable living expenses, which is um, like compared with other European countries, the cost of living in Germany is reasonable. The cost of food, rent, clothing, and cultural activities are equivalent to the European average. There are also a number of concessions available to students. You can receive reduced prices at like theaters, museums, cinemas, swimming, whichever the, uh, depends on the student standard of living affordable living expenses on an average I can tell you it's like 720 euros for one month scholarship which is a really attractive uh, thing to an international student if we talk about just a scholarship scholarship the student can get benefited any uh, like international if the student is qualifying he can get the scholar he or she can get the scholar with outstanding academic achievement you have a good chances of receiving a scholarship to finance their studies in Germ in Germany. The German Academic Exchange Service, which is a popular uh, scholarship of uh, institute, or you can tell as a government funded, it's, we call it as DAD, is one of the largest scholarship organization in the world and offer con like so countless scholarship programs. There are so many popular programs. They offer scholarship for engineering, medicine, law, all, all sort of most popular courses. And this thing like safest country, as anybody who chooses to go for any country, just said like German is really a safe country, also an international, also on, on an international scale, the police are reliable and help you in every situation. It's all about in one word, it's a very safest country. As I told you earlier, it's like in the heart of Europe. They have so many attractive tourist places. They have beaches, mountains. It's a completely a medieval city centers and pulsating metropolises. Germany is a diverse country with many things. Living in Germany means living in the middle of Europe, surrounded by many other countries. I had, as like in my initial slide, I show you the neighboring countries, and it's the heart of Europe. So it's really an amazing place to stay and study. So now, language. So the student can learn as most of the students are unable to learn the language from their own country or whether they want, they go with an ILT or whatever. Language is not important. Uh, it can, I can tell you it's not mandatory, but it is recommended to know the language of the German. Why? Only because German is the most, the trend most 
la languages spoken in the world. Some 185 million people worldwide can speak German, which is really a great number. And still you can study in Germany even if you don't know German. But if you know German, what are the advantages you get if you know the German language? As it's really helpful for you, of, uh, for an international student, if he completes his studies in order to get an uh, employment, if he knows the German language, that will be an added advantage to his profile. And overall, it will be a worth understanding and everything to just sustain in the environment of Germany. Overall, this is about, about the discussion happened of why they choose to study in Germany. Now, when it comes, what are the top universities? Here, I would like to tell that most of the universities of Germany are world ranking, among which I have given a five university details here. Is the first rank number 68? It's a technical university of Munich. Here, there is a very rank engineering programs. It's a very popular university for automobile and mechanical engineering. And the second is Hederberg University. It takes its ranking under 66, 66th ranking in the world. And we have Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich, which ranks number 75th all over the world ranking. We have number fourth is Karl Show Institute of Technology, which ranked 93rd in world ranking. And we have Free University of Berlin. It's ranked number 119. As I told you, most of the German universities rank among the world. Here, it, these all the universities come under 100 to 150 ranking. So really good ranking universities we have it in Germany. So these are the popular courses as engineering is always on the top most popular courses in engineering automobile and mechanical engineering are still on the top because of its innovation and everything and we have second is science and technology which all you know it's like the generation is all about the science and technology we have this popular course available in germany we have law and arts and overall a traditional course business so we have this top four popular courses and let's see next. Now types of programs. So there are three types of programs in order to get an admission. There are pathway, dual degree program and direct entry. So now what is this pathway? Pathway is a very unique program where student can do higher degree in free of cost in Germany. So the student may not qualify in order to get an admission in direct public universities. For him, there is an option here to go with a pathway as in the terms of USA, if I tell we have an ESL program, if the student does not have an IELTS or English proficiency, whatever it is. In this, in terms of Germany, we have it as a pathway program where the students go with the language, where they study the German language and then get enrolled in the direct public universities. So language and IT program combined is for almost like 12 months. It's a 12 months of study. They have different levels, A1, B, B2 and all. If the student is completing B2 level, he can successfully get uh, admitted in a public university. And the second is dual degree program. What is about what is dual degree program? In other words, I can tell you it's an Erasmus program as we all know what is Erasmus is. But still, it's a program called where you will be studying, a, when I'm, let's say, like, like take an instance, when we are doing a bachelor program, if an international student doing a bachelor program, let us assume he might be doing a bachelor program in Lithuania for two years and then he get enrolled for another two years in Germany. So it's like a dual degree program. For an example, he study in some different university for two years in some university in Lithuania and for the third year, any partner university of Germany. The student uh, university should be uh, affiliated or not affiliated, but it's a partner. It, it has a tie up with the German universities. The student can continue with the third and fourth year with the dual degree program in Germany. So when it comes to a master level, they have two years where one year of study in different country and another one year 
in any partner university of germany so one year he is studying any in, in any partner university of germany and then he get a project or a internship when mostly it will be a paid internships now what is all about is a direct entry as a tool a person who is not qualifying to get an admission in a direct public university he chose to go with a pathway because he don't know what exactly to but there is a doors for him to get an admission for a public university so what is all about is a direct entry if the student qualifies with all the requirements of the university then he can directly get admitted in the Top public universities or the any university which he ever, he or she chooses to go. Next, so what is the admission usually? This is the general requirements in Germany for an undergrad program. RLT is of six point O band. A GPA required is two point five. SAT is not mandatory, but still it is required for some specific programs. On an average, a general tuition fees uh, for a private universities it is 9980 euros per year across here is the graduate admission requirements ilt is of 6.5 bank gpa is about 3.0 gre or gmat is required mostly for the engineering programs and the tuition fees for the graduate is 9480 euros it's an approximate figure for one year this is the phd requirements so it's quite difficult to get an admission in phd but still the student qualifies for the admission he or she can get the admission definitely if the student profile is really strong so phd admission requirement is ilt is of 6.5 band gp of 3.5 and more gre gmat is required research work any research work the student has done work experience if any Here is the document checklist. In order to get an admission, a student should have is all academics, all the educational documents, his updated resume, his passport copy, work experience if you have, letter of recommendation, statement of purpose or motivational letter, and IELTS as a TOEFL or German proficiency. If the student has successfully completed a level of uh, German language here, he, he or she can submit the level certificate. And here also, I I like to add one point here: GRE, GMAT. If the student is holding a GRE or GMAT. So, what are the intakes and deadlines to get an admission in Germany? Popular intakes are March and September. So, deadline for the summer intake that is for March is first December. They they start their application from first December to Jan fifteenth Jan is the deadline. The application we can start from the first December and the deadline will be closed till fifteen. So within one and a half month, the application should be submitted. September intake deadline is fifteenth July, because in uh, the intakes and the deadlines will close. Why? Because German visa process takes a time. So it's, uh, I could suggest you here, and if you are advising any student, ask them to start the process at the earliest because the German embassy takes a time for the visa processing. scholarship so as a tool there are popular scholarship and there is a government based scholarship and a university based scholarship the government based scholarship for an example we have that which is most popular and world famous for the student who want to study they have an an average scale and this that scholarship offer uh, that offer scholarship for most of all the programs for engineering for arts science and technology Almost all the courses they offer the scholarship at the maximum limit, based on the students' uh, students and eligibility and all those things criteria. The student really qualifies to get a scholarship that offers the scholarship. This is one source of getting the scholarship. So now what? So what is the work opportunity? What we get it if we are if the student is completing his or his studies. See, student is a full-time occupation. Studying is a full-time occupation for the student. 
but students may find a part time job on or off campus in order to gain a practical experience and to improve their financial situation if a person is working part of full uh, part time or a full time he or she can also be benefited with the language proficiency which most of the german people speaks german language itself if the student is getting part time or a full time job on or off campus he can adopt he can get an practical experience and he can also improve his finance his or her financial situation the limit for working is up to 120 for full days the student can work or 240 half days per year is legally allowed and after graduating from a german university you may stay on or for another so 1.5 years the student can stay and search for a qualified employment based on his stream as here how good the student is searching for his uh, those who are successful in their search can have their better future and they can get a work permit gradually <clears throat> there are three types of visa here i have given language course visa student applicant visa and student visa so what is this language course visa is a perfect option for those student who want to learn the german language as i told there are three pathway three programs one is pathway dual degree program and direct entry the student getting enrolled for a pathway program he or she gets this language course visa where he can successfully complete his german language and if he or she wants to continue his studies and go for a public university he can extend his visa accordingly second is a student applicant visa this visa is under that condition if the student is trying to find the right program but he haven't got confirmation from the university and those on that condition he can apply for the student applicant visa this third visa is a very common which is a student visa if it uh, has submitted all the requirements of the university and got the accepted acceptance letter from the german university he or she can apply for the it's a general kind of a term which is student visa so what are the documents required to apply in order to apply for the visa <coughs> completed application form a valid passport two photographs letter showing that you have been accepted by a german university a negative acceptance letter or an offer letter from a german university transcript of an academic record it it all comes your education documents here certificate of german language proficiency or proof that you intend attending a language course in germany or you can just show your ielts or so toefl here proof that you have a sufficient funds to support yourself by living in germany and uh, like it's here i will give you one brief information proof that you have sufficient funds either you need to open a block account in kotak mahindra bank or either you need to open an account in germany that is a dutch bank it's a it is a amount which is freezed and you can only withdraw per month 720 euros and approximately and it is in a, under a block account so this either you need to open an account or show the source of fund you have and you either you can open an account and you can deposit the complete fund and last thing is certificate showing you have purchased health insurance health insurance is mandatory it is required and you have to submit this document along with the other documents for the visa and declaration of authenticity of document submitted documents whatever you submit your educational document it should be authenticated by the german embassy or it should be apostilled from ministry of external affairs so this is the simple process for how does it involves the visa process as i told you the document checklist is done now you can apply for visa you can pay the visa fees that is 60 euros if we turn into an in, uh, ina it might be like 4500 rupees in an exchange up to 5000 rupees and then you can submit your application in the visa or embassy uh, consulate or embassy and processing time here it is an average time one month but it may take longer as well because no one can predict about the processing time on an average scale it's a one month and above so after you uh, if you are approved or not approved that will be sent an email to you you can go ahead and collect your passport 
and you can book your flight and you can fly. So the process is really easy. In order to get an admission, select the program and apply. Whichever the program the student wishes to apply, he can he or she can select the program and apply and get the acceptance. After the acceptance, the student has to pay the tuition fee. The tuition fees has required to be paid. Suppose if the tuition fees of one year is 13,000 euros or 12,000 euros, whatever the tuition fee is. The tuition fees has to be paid upfront, one year of tuition fees, and then apply for the visa. I'll explain you the visa procedure, and then he, can, he or she can book the flight and fly. So I concluded. Thanks. If you have any queries, you can just let me know. Thank you very much, Kulsum. It was really a very nice uh, webinar. I think you have cleared everything and it, it, it was beautiful design also. So thank you very much, whoever prepared this PPT. I, I, I heard that you have got help from Durgesh and other team member. But yeah, they have done a very good job. And you also done a good job to uh, explain each and everything. So the consulates, if you have any questions regarding the Germany, please feel free to write it down it here so that I can just double check with the Kulsum and she can answer you. So Kulsum, uh, I, I think the Germany is a very good opportunity uh, location for the international students to study um, for the higher educations. So what are the things, the key points which which you can say to everybody that what are the key points which you think about the German education? Key points here I would like to add is like, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Your yeah, first key point is the quality of education and it's a renowned degree when we are completing a German in Germany, we are complete, doing a degree, it's like a rank and it's renowned degree. And second point is like, it's an, uh, we have the scholarship programs. And the third thing is like, most of the public universities offer free education, which is the most attractive thing for an international student. And thing is like, it's a visa process is very simple. And I have explained the documents, what is required, it's very simple. And most of the student gets the visa because of it's really easy to get the visa, like 99 to 100% there is a chance. There is a rejection, but still if the student is completing his or her document checklist and the documents are legal, then he or she can get the visa easily. And the third and the last thing is like job opportunities. Once the student is completing, he or she is getting a 1.5 years of job search, job search visa, which is an ample of time in order to search employment for his uh, after into his related stream. Well, because during the study, he or she is doing a part-time job, so he might be friendly about the environment and the surrounding. He or she can fetch a job based on his stream and the availability of the market and all those stuff. So this is the top points, top key points I could tell you, which can, which will be an attractive thing for an international student. Okay, and uh, uh, you also mentioned about the that the students has to deposit some amount in the bank. So what about that? Like it's it's about the uh, that they can um, they can use this money for their living expense and they can withdraw yeah, some amounts after reaching to the Germany. Yes, yes. It's a, it should be deposited in a block account. Either they can open that account in Dutch bank, which is in Germany, or which is which is quite like it's complicated and time consuming. It's better if the student is opening their account in Kotak Mahindra Bank, which is affiliated to the same, and they can deposit 8,640 euros. And it is in the, under the block account. A student can only withdraw when he arrives in the Germany. Per month, 720 euros he can withdraw. But still here, I would like to add something here. It's just about the living expenses. Initially, when a student is going for Germany, he might be he might be incurred with an additional expenses. He should be financially uh, like prepared with some of the extra amount. Okay, but the Kotak uh, uh, the Dutch bank is also available in India nowadays, so they can also open an account in the Dutch bank also in India. 
Yeah, either of it, either of it. These two sources are available. They can offer anything, whichever they feel comfortable. Okay. So, what do you suggest that for those kind of students who does not have the IELTS and still they want to go to the uh, to to the German education? So, what are the chances available yeah. for those kind of students? Yeah, um, in my slide, I covered with what kind of three type of programs are there. One is pathways, second one is double dual degree program, and the third is direct entry. So the student, as I told, the student if he is not having an IELTS and he wishes to go for a public university, he can opt for a pathway program where he can enroll for a language study where he can complete his successful B2 level for 12 months, and then he can get enrolled for a public university, government funded university, as per his dreams and aspirations. This is a pathway, it's a shortcut way for him to get an admission if the student is not qualifying for the uh, direct admission. He can opt for a pathway program. Okay, so the pathway is like the, it's 100% guaranteed that they'll get the admission or uh, uh, what, what uh, like uh, tuition fees comes around if they are choosing for the pathway program? Um, I, could you please repeat that question? Uh, my question was uh, that if the students is applying for the pathway program, there is 100% they'll get the admission, or if they get the admission, what will be the tuition fees? Okay. Yeah, they almost there's a chances to get an admission because it's a language pathway. The, the student decides after going over there whether he wishes to go ahead and apply for this particular program or not. But yes, there is an almost guarantee for getting an 99% guarantee for getting an admission. Now, average tuition fees is 3,000 euros for one year. 3,000 euro. Okay. 3,000 euro. Okay. Okay. And um, they they can also get some kind of condition letter if they are applying. Let's say if they're doing any kind of pathway programs, they can get the condition letter from the public university. No, they cannot get the uh, because they can uh, they have to either show the requirement as the university requires. Either they should come successfully complete the pathway program, then they can get the admission. There is no any conditional kind of an admission for them from a public university. There are partner universities in pathway institutes. After the completion of that, they can try for it. But right for the right from the admission, like if they are getting an admission for a pathway. Along with that, a conditional acceptance will not be provided in, from any public university. Okay, okay. No, I think we recently had tie up with uh, one of the Irusha uh, 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 language company in the Germany because I met with them in the UK, and they confirmed me that they can get the uh, public universities offer letter also. There is conditional letter also if the students are choosing uh, the language program in their. Um, uh, in their uh, college. Okay. Okay. Also, uh, like uh, you talk about the free education, so can you just elaborate what kind of free educations uh, available and what what is the criteria to get the free education? Yeah. Okay. So in order to get an admission in uh, for free education, the student has to be uh, with uh, like a good GPA, three point oh and more. And they should have an IELTS of 6.5 band and GRE of 300 plus in order to get an admission in public university with free education. There is a nominal charges applicable for them that's like an administrative charges, but rest the tuition fees will be waived. Not completely waived, but yet 90% it will be waived. Okay, okay. And uh... What is the options available for the internships if they uh, they'll get some kind of internships also there? Yeah, they do get the internships in their last semester. Okay. Riddhi is asking what is the visa chances if they're going for the pathway program? Do you think that they can get the easily visas? Yes, almost the student, as I told you, the student is matching to the requirement and everything and the documents are perfect. Almost they can get the visa there's a good chance of getting the leave. Okay, okay, okay. I think, Riddhi, if they are applying to the good uh, language schools, uh, which is authorized by the German government, and in, in additions, like in the USA, we provide the condition letter. 
if they have the, some kind of conditional letter with them, they can easily get the visa. I also don't think that there is any problem with the visa. Pragati asked the question that uh, do they require the police verifications at the time of the visas? No, they require biometric. They do it biometric. Police okay. certificate. So no police verification certificate is required, right? No, no. Okay. And um, how much time it will take to get the visa processing? It usually takes uh, one month of time as per the general rule, 30 days, but it might take a more time because of documents and verification they which they, you know, uh, embassy do internally. It might take more than one month as well. Usually as per our student who has got the visa, he, he, it was an approx like 20 to 25 days. He, it was around 25 days him to get the confirmation letter from the embassy. In an around one month, you can assume it. Okay. Uh, Riti is asking what are the requirements uh, and what are the documents required to start the process for the German language uh, school? The documents is the same. They require the or like their academics, the resume, statement of purpose, recommendation letter. The same documents required as they required for the other institutes. Uh, academics, statement of purpose, recommendation letters, the passport copy, and the resume. Okay, but if they don't have IELTS and GRE, they can still apply for a German language program. Yes, yes, yes. It's a door for the public university. Okay, uh, I think Riddhi is asking public university general language requirement. So, uh, uh, Riddhi, uh, let me answer you this one. How it works? Like, if 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 uh, the programs are in the English, the German uh, universities or public universities are okay with the B1 certificate also. Uh, if the program start in the German language, uh, they require minimum of B2 uh, language certification that students should have it uh, once they are applying for the admissions. But let's say if they are applying for any kind of MBBS programs or PhD programs or uh, doctorate programs, they should have the C1 language certificates uh, to apply in the German language. I hope I answered your questions. Okay, and uh, uh, the other questions asked by the um, the Danish Kumar that the the, the fees the fees they have to pay the for the one year uh, deposit they have to pay or they have to pay the entire tuition fees before they start the program. They have to pay one year tuition fees initially after their acceptance and after they get the visa, they need to deposit the rest tuition fees. The rest tuition fees is let's say if they are three years program. So you mean to say that first year they pay before the visa and the next two years they pay after the visa? Yes. Okay, but after the visa means before leaving the country or after reaching to the before uh, yes. leaving the country. Oh, really? They have to pay three years program? No, I don't think so. None of the university in the world, they can ask three years or four years fees before they start the program. It's it's kind of an installment. They have to they have to pay. As it were, after their acceptance, they need to pay their one year of tuition fees. And after the visa, or they can start their courses, then they can show the source of fund. And they can, after that, in installment, they can pay the tuition fees. Followed by, like, they are paying one year of tuition fees. For second year, they can go ahead and pay the second year tuition fees. Okay. Okay. Only for pathways, they need to pay upfront. Yeah, pathway they pay at the upfront. That, that they have to pay the upfront, then only they can start the process. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, and uh, like how many intakes are available if we talk about the public universities? Only one intake is available, that is in September. 
Okay, and what about the private universities? They have two intakes, that is March and September. Okay. And uh, uh, what about the language uh, programs, the pathway programs? They have the intakes every month. Every uh, month. Okay. Okay. Uh, Riddhi is asking question that eight thousand euro per year deposit in the bank. So what if the course is for three years? So Riddhi, let me answer you this question like this: that uh, initially first year only the students has to pay the minimum amount of eight thousand changes, eight one two three uh, uh, euro something. Uh, they have to pay before they start the program because uh, in general like if you do the canada process the spp process it's the same like they require at, at least ten thousand dollar deposit uh, in the cortex bank uh, to uh, to just show that the students having a one year of living expense and the one year of tuition fees paid received same like in the usa we do they don't require in the bank but they require in the bank statement that they should have at least one year of living expense in the tuition fees. So it's all together are the same only, but only difference comes that you are depositing in a bank to make sure to the uh, government that the students having sufficient fund. So once he reach to the country, he will not depend on anybody to send a money he's having in his account and there is a uh, there is a limitation is set in his account so he can maximum withdraw some amount so that he can uh, around 700 euro 800 euro so that he can easily take care about his living expense and the food uh, expense there okay any other questions uh, i think there are so many questions asked today um, any any further questions by somebody I think we, uh, what we, uh, I think let me summarize this one that we talk about there are three options available uh, in the, in the, in the Germany. One is the public universities, which is a little bit hard, but it's possible because uh, if the students are good, if they have a good GRE, good ILTS, they can directly apply to the public universities where the tuition fees is like nothing. They only pay, um, the admission fees and uh, the library fees and all which comes around 2000 euro per year that's all uh, but all other fees are um, um, there is no uh, other fees there it's free education so they can apply for that if the students are good uh, applying as soon as possible would be really good because in the germany uh, they uh, as, as for example, they have a 60 seats in the Germany in any public university, 40 or 50 seats they reserved for the local students and EU students. So you are only competing with the 10 uh, seats and where there are thousands of the students are applying from all over the world because German educations are good and it's cheap both. So it's very competitive. Uh, so you have to apply at least six to eight public universities there still you get only one and two response from the universities. Most of the universities require the German translate documents when we are applying for the public universities because uh, most of the public universities, director, international directors and all, they preferred the, all the documents comes in the German translate um, so that they can easily understand and they can, uh, um, they can apply. This is for the graduate program. For the undergraduate program, there is a uni assist website is there for the for the all public universities. So you can visit this website and then you can choose any of the public universities wherever you want to apply for the bachelor's programs, that is undergraduate programs. And you have to send their documents there or upload your documents and they'll, uh, they'll forward those, those documents to the particular university, whatever you are choosing it. So for the undergraduate, the process is very straightforward. You don't have to do so many activities from the same portals. You can choose the six or seven universities and then you can apply. But for the uh, graduate uh, programs for the public universities, you have to go to the every university website 
understand their requirement and apply so it's it's a little bit lengthy process and tedious process but uh, if you the students profile are good you can get that admission in the public universities now second options we have for the private universities uh, we are working with the um, uh, the IUBH uh, private university we are working with FOM this is the biggest universities the private universities which we are working they have all kind of programs like mechanical civil electronics air, aviations you name it they have all kind of programs i met with them personally and they they are tuition fees is only 8000 euro per year but the good point is that which uh, which i ask him that why anybody choose the private universities compared to the public university the reason he only told me is that that most of the professors they knew uh, the students are coming for the free education so most of the times they are not available in the classrooms or most of the times they don't take students seriously because they think that everybody all the educations are free but in the end when they are in the private university they are private body who is always double checking all the professors to make sure that the students are getting the proper studies because they are paying for that right so uh, fom is that's why it's always number one in germany for the educations wise because they always make sure that the students are getting the quality educations because they are paying it and the students also serious about their education because they are paying it otherwise sometimes the students also doesn't serious about their educations because they see it's free so you know sometimes the free is not always good so it's always uh, suggestible to the students if you want to do the good studies still you can go ahead with the private universities if it is attaching the cost but again the uh, the value of the education will be really good and uh, the chances are getting admission is are very high because we have the personal links with them if you do not have 6.5 you have a 6 we can get you the admission if you do not have a 300 if you have less gre or if you don't have a gre we can always talk to them to get you the admissions so that is a benefit which we get to working with the private universities now again we have the pathway programs there in the germany where the admissions are 100 percent uh, and uh, we don't require much of your documents if you have the your education documents passport and resume you can forward to us we can get the admission letter from the language schools with the condition letter so that we can make sure that you you get the admissions and you can start your program because we have the intakes every month so uh, you can recruit the students like this according to the students profile you can offer them and you can tell them whatever the options are available germany is really very good locations uh, i personally met with the four and five german trainers here because we are giving a german training to the different different colleges in bangalore so uh, and the guys our trainers are coming from uh, one is coming from the bosch one is coming from the hp and uh, i used to talk to them they always say that uh, the german is it's 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 a, it's it's a good destination also if you have this language knowledge in india in india also there are so much opportunities to work because they preferred uh, the the if the if the candidates are having a japanese language or german language because both the countries are doing uh, very good in the global market and both the country doesn't have a good command in the english but the people who have this language um, uh, knowledge they get very good jobs and they easily get a jobs in the good companies because you know they always require the translator in between whatever kind of transactions or what kind of uh, uh, projects they do each other so it's always good if you have this knowledge uh, so that you can easily get the jobs so we we talk about the intakes we talk about the admission criteria we talk about the what are the options are available I think the Germany is fit for everything like we have USA who fit for every everybody. So I hope that you enjoyed this session today. Tomorrow we are going to talk about the France in the same time 5 p.m. And uh, Jared is going to be do this webinar tomorrow. And uh, whatever the questions you have uh, again for the French educations, you can ask him directly. 
so i hope that you like this session and uh, tomorrow again you will tune the uh, same times and uh, we'll see you tomorrow in the meantime if anybody have any questions uh, you can always ask to kulsum and pravin who who always help you for the german education thank you very much all to joining this webinar bye bye take care thank you kulsum bye bye